guys, Carol Elizabeth here. Hope you're having a great day. I've had a lot of people ask me about this fish I keep talking about. I, I did a video on a, a recipe with um, zucchini pasta and fish, but everyone's asking me, how do you make this fish? How do you make this fish? And uh, I, I think I perfected the, the deep fried chicken, but fish and not deep fried fish fish. So um, this is how I do it. This is how easy it is. I literally was just about to do one. And I thought I'll shoot a video. So basically I have my nonstick pan here. I've got my pan. I gave it a little squirt. I've got it heating up. I have my bass of fish. I am liking bass of fish a lot. Um, I just find it at Walmart. It gets, uh, it's cheap. This is about 10 bucks for 1.3 uh, kgs and um, it's full. Uh, it's wicked and it comes out like this. It's frozen. I thaw it And I run it under cold water Then what I do is I want to pat off the excess water So I just take the fillets and I stick them on paper towel and I make a Paper towel sandwich with raw fish <laughs> So I stick a paper towel on top of that one and I load the fish up and this is because I'm cooking lots of fish Michael and I are eating fish, the kids eat fish, and I literally have this in my fridge now all the time. I make fish tacos, I make zucchini fish noodles, I just eat the fish. Um, I, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm addicted to fish right now, and this is really good. So, I pat out all the excess moisture, do, 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 do. peel that puppy off, and, and then, I mean, you, you gotta be, my house, it's gotta be simple. There's not too many steps involved in what I cook, but I'm telling you, it's yummy. So you can do this. I stick the fish, get some light, on the fry pan. And I got a big jumbo fry pan for my birthday because I eat so much fish. <laughs> and I like to cook once and cook it all at one time. Because I'm all about saving time and I know you guys are too. So I take the fish, fill the pan. And I take a seasoning. Right now I'm doing a lot of salt free, so I have a salt free Mrs. Dash, uh, kind of a lemon and herb. There's a nice Southwest Chipotle for all my Texas friends. Yeah! Uh, and I have a jar full of spices. So there's lemon herb, roast chili. I mean, you're only limited to your imagination. So I sprinkle that on my fish. And since I like to do a dance and I don't have a blender, I'll do the Spicy shake dance. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, anyway, so put that on and then I put the lid on and then I sit. And the greatest thing about this fish is the more cooked it gets, the better. So when I go off to do laundry and help a kid with homework and go upstairs to do something and come downstairs to do something else and go to let the dogs out, it's almost done because I've overcooked it. And the key to this fish tasting wicked, I think, is cooking all the juice out of it. A lot of things that people don't like about fish is that it's fishy <laughs> and it's soft and it's liquidy. So pat the fish dry, fry it, let it get nice cr and crispy, flip it over, put a little sprinkle of the spice on again and you're good to go. I mean if you're not watching your fats right now we're uh, uh, both around competition so we, we use the pan but it's awesomely amazing with macadamia nut oil or coconut oil then it even gets extra fried crispy put it in a nice um, iceberg lettuce leaf with avocado and salsa and cilantro and roll that puppy up mm, 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 mm. Mm. anyway that's how I make my super fresh fish that tastes like fried chicken fish fish Okay, <laughs> bye guys.